Hello, this is a medical video lecture, microbiology. And today we're going to talk about the virulence factors, the virulence factors of group A, group A. Streptococcus. Streptococcus. Okay. Really very important bacteria and very important virus factors and their pathogenic role you should know. Okay guys. So it's kind of what you call it's a kind of a revision for you guys for your USMLE step one. Okay. And try to concentrate on this. I'm not gonna go in detail but rather I will explain to you what you call virulence factors and their pathogenic role in that. Okay. So let's start with uh, important from outside that's a capsular this is a virulence factor capsular hyaluronic acid okay so remember the capsule can induce the antibody which is not protective okay and the capsule is not immunogenic but protects the cells against phagocytosis so it's gonna roll is non immunogenic and it's anti phagocytic okay guys okay this is capsular heronic acid virulence factor now let's move on to another one cell wall polysaccharide cell wall polysaccharide and these cell wall polysaccharides are responsible for non separative sequel of streptococcal infections okay non separative sequel of streptococcal infections right so let's move on to the another valence factor that's a yam protein yam protein the role of this M protein is it acts as an anti phagocytic, anti phagocytic, and very important degrades C3B complement factor C3B, C3B, really very important. Remember, then we have a, another one factor that's a F protein, okay, and this helps to what you call. It mediates adherence. It acts as a glue to epithelial cells. To the epithelial cells. Okay. All right, guys. So we talked about the capsular hyaluronic acid. We talked about the cell wall polysaccharides, M protein, and the F protein. Now we're gonna talk about another one. Virulence factor of the group A streptococcus is. Parogenic exotoxins. Okay, and these exotoxins mediate parogenicity and enhancement of delayed hypersensitivity. Delayed hypersensitivity and susceptible to endotoxins, cytotoxicity, non specific what you call mitogenicity for T cells. Okay, and immunosuppression of B cell functions, production of, you know, scarlet form rash. Okay, so these are the important functions of uh, pathogenic role of these uh, these uh, exotoxins. Okay, right, guys. So remember, we have what you call in a different like exotoxin A, B, right? So we're gonna talk about that later. So let's talk about the streptolysin, another virulence factor. Streptolysin S, okay, right? Streptolysin S. This streptolysin S helps in the lysis of what you call leukocytes. 
leukocytes, erythrocytes, that's the RBC, platelets. Look at my handwriting, this is really worse, right? So remember, it's a leukocytes, erythrocytes, and platelets, okay? It acts as non-immunogenic, okay? Non, it's a non-immunogenic. As capsular or hyaluronic acid we talked about, okay? And it helps what you call the release of uh, lysosomal enzymes. Right, guys? So let's talk about the if we talked about the streptolysin S, we're gonna talk about the streptolysin O. O O O O. Okay. And this also same function it does, it licenses the leukocytes, erythrocytes, and the platelets, but it's uh, immunogenic. That's what the difference is, okay? Immunogenic. Whereas streptolysin S is a non-immunogenic, okay? Streptolysin O is immunogenic, remember, very important point. And this also stimulates the release of lysosomal enzymes. So it's all similar to streptolysin O is almost similar to streptolysin S, but there is a one difference that the streptolysin O is immunogenic, whereas streptolysin S is non-immunogenic, right? Now let's talk about the another virulence factor that is a streptokinase. Strepto kinase okay the streptokinase facilitates the spread of infection in the tissues okay and lysis the blood clot that's why it has been used in what you call in cardiac patients right streptokinase lysis the blood clot facilitates the spread of infection in the tissues then we have dna's DNAs that depolarizes, depolymerizes, it breaks the polymers, depolymerizes cell free DNA in a prolonged material. Okay, depolymerize the cell free DNA in a prolonged material. Then we have C5A peptidase that degrades C5A. That simple. Okay, guys. So this is uh, the basic functions of what you call the pathogenic role of virulence factors of a uh, group A streptococcus. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. And please do not forget to subscribe and please do not